The OptiDrive Eco range of drives has been designed specifically for use in fan and pump applications, with unique software features intended to provide simple setup and commissioning of advanced applications. All OptiDrive Eco drives contain our OptiFlow system. This is the capability for multiple drives to be networked together to control and operate pumps in common configurations such as duty standby or duty assist standby, such as booster pumps with the option to select jockey pump mode where the application requires it. Installation of the drives is as simple as mounting on the wall and connecting the required mains power, motor and control signal cables. The first drive, our master, has the pressure transducer connected to it. Setting up the master drive is a simple process of setting the parameters to match the connected motor to ensure that we control and protect it correctly and then commissioning the drive for the application. In this case, we enable the PID control function so that a feedback transducer can be used and choose our pressure set point and pressure feedback source. The additional two slave drives are simply and quickly connected using standard RJ45 cables, making the network very quick and easy to assemble. Finally, enable the OptiFlow function and commission some simple settings to control when additional pumps should be started and stopped. For example, if we simply want to change the duty pump every 24 hours, we can set 24 hours here and the pump duty will automatically change over after this time. In systems where multiple pumps operate together in duty assist standby configuration, the assist pump can be configured to start when the duty pump is operating close to maximum speed. The speed to switch off the assist pump can be estimated if the system operating graph for the pumps is available by comparing the flow provided by a single pump operating at maximum speed to the flow of two pumps operating at reduced speed. This setting can be fine-tuned during operation to ensure that the pumps do not repeatedly start and stop when the flow is close to the capacity of a single pump. OptiFlow also monitors the running time for each pump in order to maintain a similar runtime across all pumps and will automatically rotate operation between duty and standby pumps as required. Our demonstration uses the internal PLC capability of the drive to display system pressure. During normal operation, the speed of the pumps will automatically adjust in response to the flow demand, maintaining system pressure by cascading in and out assist pumps when required to ensure that the set point is maintained. A key benefit of the OptiFlow system is that in an event of a fault developing on any pump, an alternative pump will automatically start. For example, if one pump motor overheats, the drive controlling that pump will trip to protect the motor and stop the pump. Immediately, an alternative pump starts and the system quickly recovers, maintaining the flow. In the event that a pump requires maintenance, the electrical power supply to that pump can be isolated, even the pump connected to the master drive, as the serial communication cable also contains a control electronics power supply. Operation continues with the remaining available pumps, allowing work to be safely carried out. We can illustrate a three-pump booster set with this test rig, where we have three OptiDrive Eco IP66 outdoor rated drives configured with our OptiFlow solution. A pressure transducer is connected to the master controller drive and two assist drives and pumps with all drives networked together using the RJ45 cables, an expansion vessel to stabilize the pressure, a water tank or reservoir, and an outlet valve to manually vary the water demand. In this setup, we have used our onboard PLC program to display the system pressure in units of bar. As we open the valve and the water starts to flow, we can see the pressure starts to drop and the first drive kicks in to try to maintain the pressure. If we open the valve further, we can see that one drive and pump alone cannot maintain the pressure with the increased demand and another drive starts to operate. If we isolate the power to one of the running drives, another available drive will take over to maintain the pressure. If we open the valve even further, we can see that the third drive will start to assist. Closing the valve will reduce the water demand and slow down the speed of the pump until one pump is removed. Further reduction in the demand will drop us down to one pump and eventually, when the demand goes to zero, our last pump will stop and go into standby mode. The OptiDrive Eco also contains many additional features designed for pumping applications. Thanks to the simple parameter structure, these can be easily and quickly set up, 
providing savings at every stage from installation through to final operation. 